not sure I could tell you so much about what they're doing today, but I think the, re the way they became who they were was they were the first console to deliver what I think is something close to the arcade experience in your home. They had the graphics, they had the sounds, they had the depth of uh, storytelling in their games, and some of those games hit in such a big way that that particular system became successful. And again, I think technologically, I think it was a, a huge advancement over the video game systems that had been before. And it, it had enough uh, power to have some staying power. Nobody really came to usurp it for know, a few years. Um, and then that, that made Nintendo like the champion. You know? And then everybody started trying to compete, but they, stayed, they remained competitors. Um, I mean, I, you know, I'm, I don't know, I can't, oh, okay. you know, the, I'm thinking, you know, what have they done after, you know, there's the GameCube, there's the Wii, um, and, the, you know, the, the, it feels like the Wii has diverged a little bit, uh, maybe to a different market than some play, something like the Xbox or the PS3, but, uh, you know, they're still a big player, because it was a, a technology that was in its infancy, and that it would grow, and that it would have to grow. The technology would have to get better. I mean, it didn't surprise me that the home games became better than the arcade games. Actually, that was something I was expecting. So um, it was not a surprise to me, nor did I resent it. Well, again, I think they're, they're, they're simple in concept, they're simple in mechanics, and yet they were complicated in, you know, they were, not to say complicated, they were challenging despite being simple in concept. So I don't think, even with, the, you know, with all the graphics, people are trying to make games bigger and bigger and bigger. You don't really see that many games that are really in the spirit of those old games. But when you do see games like that, they can be very uh, popular. Um, the game with the fruit, I don't know. I don't, I don't have an iPad, you know? So, but you know, there's, there's, a, there's game where, you know, you just swipe your finger and you're trying to, you know, that's a fruit ninja warrior. That's in the per that's perfectly in the spirit of those those old games. People can play them for a long period of time. They kind of put their brain on hold. They can focus, enjoy it for as long as they need to, and then go back to whatever they were doing. So I think it says something about human beings and the way our brains work. That sometimes we need to just sort of check out for a little bit and have a little diversion. And I think it sharpens us for whatever task we're going back to. I mean, uh, sometimes we want to go to something that's more deep and we want to get immersed in a story, and there's video games for that. But, you know, there are two separate kinds of video games, there are many others, but those are two broad categories of video games that people like for different reasons.